you guys, you are outsmarting so many people. They're so upset. Let's talk about it. You guys are in this mode right now where you're keeping it 1,000. And some people can handle it because they be keeping it a buck as well. And there's a lot of people that quite literally cannot handle it. People are shook. They're unsettled. Some of them are panicked. And they are subtly expressing jealousy. You guys are just at this point in your life where you're not trying to be miserable. You're not trying to be unhappy. And you're not trying to deal with BS or drama, any type of effery. Like you don't really want it around. And so somebody around you is trying to intentionally upset you. And maybe they caught you on a day where you were running out the door. Maybe last week they caught you on a day where you weren't really paying attention or you were tired. Well, this week is going to be a lot different. This week, you are on top of your game. I don't know if it's you took a nap. I don't know what it is that you're doing, but... You are being honest and you are showing people, I see through your hidden motives. I see through your breadcrumbs. I don't care if they're glow in the dark or not. Somebody hold my oxygen because it's about to pop all the way off this week. Hold my oxygen. Hold my air. You guys, there have been some people commiserating in a corner or in a water cooler of some kind because you are getting applauded right now. You are shifting. You are realizing how important you are in this world. And I'm so excited for you. You guys are creating stability, legacy, possibly even a new home situation. I'm getting that people are really caught off guard and unsettled by things that they've been hearing because you guys see through people. You guys are like the ultimate seer in your work environment or in your family environment. So people are trying to do backhanded things and they're not really getting one over on you. They don't really want to apologize. You're not really asking for an apology, but you just want them to like back it all the way up. There are people shook, turned. There are trolls all around and their goals is having what you have. So somebody maybe was trying to figure out a way to get their hands on something that you have. I don't like that. You guys already know I am not a fan of trying to take what somebody else has, whether it's a relationship, money. I don't care how much I dislike someone. I'm not just going to go take their shit. You feel me? Somebody wants to get in petty arguments with you. Petty university. These people went to petty university, but they're like petty university dropouts. You feel me? They are not dealing with a full deck. Cheese is not completely on the cracker. Marbles are scattered all over the floor. They are subtly, they think they're subtly expressing jealousy. You guys, this is not for no reason. They want to disrupt this new chapter of your life. And what you're thinking is hold the phone. Houston, we have a problem. Somebody hold my oxygen because it's about to pop all the way off. And not in a way where you're going to sling mud with them. You're going to show people this week what it truly feels like to be all the way ignored. All the way invisible. You guys are about to show people what it looks like to be invisible. You feel me? <laughs> you guys are dealing with people that try to insult you, but they're unori unoriginal. <laughs> they're unoriginal. It's very unexciting. It's very like, uh, like it's not even interesting. When you guys come through the room, you are like a telenovela. And not because you're being very theatrical and dramatic. It's because you're very private. And so people are left guessing about how fantastical your life must be behind the scenes. You guys are being applauded at this time for your resilience, for putting up with people that dropped out of Petty University, for you guys always encouraging others. It's almost like this is a week where you're going to be given your flowers unexpectedly. And on top of that, there are a lot of people 
remembering things about you that you've done for them that was encouraging or motivating or inspiring. And so people are going to kind of um, be taking you down memory lane of the things that you've done for them. Like, hey, remember back when I was struggling and you helped me with this? Like, I just want you to know how much I appreciate you. People are going to be gassing you up. The people that really F with you, they are going to be really gassing, gassing you up because they feel emotionally thankful to you for some type of encouragement you've given them. Many look up to you and that is why the trolls, the Chuchalinis from Petty University, they feel like they can't compete with you. They want to disrupt what you're doing. You guys could be hitting the gym, you're doing something different with your hair, you're doing something different with your body, the way that you're carrying yourself is completely different, and you guys are going to be very physically attractive during this time. You're going to be getting a lot of attention, so I hope you are prepared for all of the attention you're going to be getting. I'm hearing the song, These Boots Were Made For Walking. <laughs> I love it, because I was wearing cowboy boots all day long with... <laughs> Block him, block him, Becky, block him. Anyways, you guys are chilling right now. Normally, these people would get you upset, but you have a plan for your plan and a list for your list on how you're going to be ignoring these people and you're learning not to give them an emotional response. That tells me that you guys are most likely dealing with the narcs that went to Petty University. So many look up to you. You're getting a lot of public recognition this week. People are gassing you up. You're going to be getting over-the-top compliments and support. People are going to be cheering you on, rooting you on, 11-11. And you're going to be feeling like, I just want to eat popcorn at home. I just want to eat some snacks and enjoy my time at home. Um, you're not really trying to be in the middle of a bunch of things that are suspicious these people are trying everything right now. The people that you don't F with right now that you recently called out, they feel some type of way. So this tells me that they want to get the last word and you're not going to give them that. They feel basic compared to you or next to you. They're trying to get a reaction. They're intentionally trying to upset you. And so I see the chooches taking an avenue I see the Chuchalinis going down one street. And then I see all the other opportunists thinking that they're tall enough to ride the ride that you're on right now. So some are trying to love bomb you. Some are trolling your social media, trolling everything you're doing. There are others that are just utterly shook. They're just standing there still like frozen. They can't believe what they've heard about you. They're caught off guard. They're unsettled by the things that you've called them out for behind the scenes. It's almost like they thought like you couldn't see them. Like what do they think they were wearing a cloak of invisibility? Like this is not Harry Potter. You were not invisible. These trolls, they're doing too much. Someone around you is being very shady. They're, they're trying to hide something and you guys can feel that. You can feel there's something underlying with some of the people that you're dealing with. So you're getting ready to protect yourself. Part of how you're going to be protecting yourself is ignoring them, blocking them, deleting them, removing them. As I'm saying that, there's an airplane flying overhead. So you're getting ready to soar above the drama. You're getting ready to soar over Petty University like, bye guys. And you're getting to this point too where you understand the answers you don't have to like have receipts you just know and you trust your intuition you guys see through people's hidden intentions you guys see through people that are untrustworthy and what you're doing as you fly over petty university into the new chapter of your life you guys are ready to slay like literally ready to slay on top of that there's so much information there's so much there's so much there's so much on top of that you guys you are working really hard. You are in the spotlight. You are feeling a little bit famous, okay? Because you're getting so much recognition on the other side of your life, the good part. I remember what I was going to say. 
as you guys are flying over Petty University, you guys are realizing a lot of things about yourself. You're realizing how you can deal with narcs in particular. And that is by not giving them an emotional response, whether it is a good response or a bad response. You are learning to show these people, I am not emotionally invested in you, whether it is negative or positive, because these narcissistic tendencies, they want a response out of you, whether it's negative or positive. So I see them really trying to figure out how to get a rise out of you. And they could have been trying to do this last week. And they might feel like they got away with it because you were busy doing something else. But you're definitely going to be on top of it this week. It's not going down like that for whoever was trying it. Whoever was being shady. In this new chapter, you guys are figuring out different side hustles. Different ways to call in stability. I want you guys to comment down below. This new chapter of my life is turnt. I'm enjoying the spotlight. I'm enjoying the encouragement and being cheered on. I am enjoying my life and being disciplined. You guys are doing a lot of healing from different trauma that you've endured. You are learning discipline. You are learning how to encourage yourself. You are learning how to visualize and meditate more. You guys are succeeding and you are dominating the competition. You are on point. You are doing an amazing job. So last week probably felt like this. You were just like, oh my gosh, oh my God, when is this crap going to end? And the last two days for you specifically, depending on when you're seeing this, no, but I'm going to say that the last 48 hours for you specifically were hard because you felt like everything that was could go wrong was going wrong. And you're like, what is, what is this? I've been staying so optimistic. This is the new chapter of my life. Why do I feel like everything's going left? You could have been feeling really restless. Now you're gassing yourself up. You're pumping yourself up like, okay, I don't need to be going 1,000 all the time. Let me chill. I'm being applauded. I'm being supported. I'm being encouraged. I'm succeeding. You were also learning how to get involved more with your hobbies. If you are someone that has just come out of a narcissistic relationship or had a narcissistic parent, that is very important for you to gain your independence, for you to um, express yourself creatively, for you to enjoy yourself creatively, for you to also learn discipline, um, whether that's getting up early, dedicating yourself to a routine. People want you to lose your ability to act rationally comment down below never okay never they want you to overreact do too much and they want to make it seem like you guys avoid to make any real effort um like you guys are the ones playing mind games i don't know who the f these people are but you are not like you have the sword ready at rest position i'm also getting that you guys have the green light this week there are side jobs, side gigs, hobbies, things that you're wanting to start, therapy, counseling, classes, teaching, things that you really want to do. You are getting the green light this week to do that. So whenever you see this reading, it is for you. This message is for you. You are getting approval. You are going to be feeling extremely popular, extremely liked. You're just going to be feeling really good after a, a tough couple of days of trying to really regather your thoughts, do some reflecting on things from the past that really bothered you that you're going to remember why you've overcome these things. We have sipping tea. Now you guys, there's a lot of people behind the scenes gossiping about you, but you're not going to let it bother you. You guys already see through them. If you guys are an influencer or star messenger, you are realizing that you need to be really particular on who is influencing you and who you're listening to. Maybe you guys are going to listen to less tarot readings. Maybe you guys are going to listen to less like gossip columns or watch less TV. Whatever that is, you guys are listening carefully just for constructive criticism just being careful who you let influence you. I see you guys really paying attention to that this week and doing a digital detox. You're going to be making a lot of extra money. There's going to be a lot of love interest, secret admirers, especially online. 
you guys, if you have an online business, people are going to be falling at your feet. Comment down below. I am the walking love spell. Duh. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't think we've done any cheat codes, so we definitely need to do that. Let's see. Let's think of some cheat codes. My enemies are always sipping tea. May they find their blessings elsewhere. Why am I so divinely protected? Why am I so abnormally lucky? Why are things always working out in my favor? Why do I always attract powerful people? Why am I always getting the green light for projects I want to start? Why am I always getting the green light for things that I want to achieve? Why am I always being supported and influencing the collective? Why am I always hitting the mark with marketing? Why am I always keeping it a buck? Why am I always choosing authenticity over perfection? Whew. Okay, I thought of some. Even with Mercury Duke to do, I thought of some. Proud of myself. So there were some people that have this fear of missing out on what you're doing. So like everyone's got their binoculars and they're literally trying to see what you're doing. They're trying to see what you're up to. You guys, this is going to be a week where people are tuning in. If you feel like normally no one's paying attention to me, no one's ever looking, uh, like people are going to be staring. People are going to be staring. Okay, heads are turned, necks are breaking, everyone is exercising some very unhealthy observing traits uh, and they're really deep in their feelings. People are going to be feeling really invested in what you're doing, whether it's positive or negative. And I see you guys divinely protecting yourself, disconnecting from what does not help balance your life. You are cleaning up your digital world. There are a lot of secrets being, oh, 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 I almost forgot this. One of the reasons why you guys are going to be grabbing your popcorn this week is not just because you're going to be Netflixing and chilling is because you are choosing to step or sit out of certain drama that is going on because there's a lot of secrets being exposed with people that have been going hard for you. But instead of getting in the middle and being like, yeah, 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 they did that to me. You know what I mean? You're just going to be like, sips tea with your popcorn. People are getting publicly embarrassed. Okay, people that tried to hurt you, people that tried to terrify you, terrorize you, whatever it was, they are being called out. Their secrets are being exposed. So if certain people were abusing their power and they were trying to show you a certain like, oh, I'm protected, nothing can happen to me, you're going to be seeing some things. You're going to be seeing some things. You're going to be seeing some things. Um, you are working on fighting back, not being a doormat. You are making a big comeback. Okay. So whoever I'm speaking to, you are making a big comeback this week, coming back harder than ever. You could have been feeling very drained, exhausted last week, and now you are getting your fire back. It's almost like you needed like a two day, like, I don't even know what that was. It felt like a two day dark night of the soul. Now you guys are feeling better and um, because it's almost like for two days you felt out of touch. You felt like everything you were doing was outdated. You were second guessing everything that you were doing and you were definitely feeling really frustrated. Um, and now you guys are getting back to this point where there's less resistance. You feel like the magician again. So let's get out some more cards and see what's going on for you guys. So you guys are going to be feeling like there's a lot of eyes on you. You're going to be very private at this time, very mysterious. And that is a download that I've been getting for you guys for like the last two weeks. Um, because you guys are aware that you now have the persona. You guys are now aware that you have the, the support. Um, you have the power. You have the influence. You guys have a way of influencing very powerful people. You guys are very honest and you're true to yourself. So you're learning how to trust your feelings. You're learning how to trust your influence. Comment down below 
everything is to my extreme satisfaction. I am so grateful for getting the green light. I trust in my influence. I trust in my support. I trust in my protection. I trust in my abilities. You guys are going to be feeling like you're going from no chill where you've lost lost your ability to not do too much and feeling like you always have to go, 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 go. You guys are getting into this like chill mode where, I don't know, it's like you guys are figuring out some shortcuts to do things an easier way for yourself and it's helping you guys look really fresh and relaxed and liberated. So we got create your vision, do what makes your heart sing. You are being nudged forward. You guys are trusting that you can create your vision. You are trusting that you have the green light to do so. I'm also getting that you guys are a psychic or a medium. You are very intuitive or you are star messenger or chosen. So let me know in the comments. You guys are going to be feeling instantly famous this week. You guys are going to be feeling applauded appreciated you are getting a shower of blessings and it's it's well deserved i'm seeing that you guys have been working your butt off behind the scenes feeling undervalued feeling underappreciated and so this recognition is well deserved open yourself to receive so drop what angel number you guys have been seeing in the comments. It is your opportunity to pay it forward. Um, if you guys are in that position, you're going to feel this urge to pay it forward and bless people even more around you. Freedom of truth. You guys are figuring out a way to encourage others where you are ex expressing your deepest truths. You are really learning how to be vulnerable. You are learning how to express who you truly are. You guys are also doing some inner child healing, which I love because a lot of us have dealt with toxic parents, toxic family members, toxic upbringings, things that are extremely dysfunctional. So I'm really happy for you guys because I'm just seeing you guys thrive this week. And that's awesome. We have uncord relationships. Hello. You guys are going to be uncording relationships. Let go. Let go now. Let me finish the sentence. Let go now. Forgiveness is freedom. You're like, okay, I've let go of them, but what am I going to do now? Okay, I'm going to work on forgiveness. Now, if you guys have been with me a while, you guys know how I feel about forgiveness. I don't think that it should be rushed. I do believe that we should work on it, obviously, but I don't think that you can necessarily expedite forgiveness. But it is something you guys are looking towards because you want to feel free. You want this weight or this burden off of your shoulder. So I want you guys to drop your scissors down below because the block party has commenced. Your cutoff game is strong. They better ask somebody. Then we have the Ascension Lift, which one of you guys commented, the Ascension Elevator, and I love that. They're not tall enough for this ride. Prepare for rapid spiritual growth. So comment down below, I am prepared. I am prepared for rapid spiritual growth. I am ready for opportunities. Why am I always prepared for rapid spiritual growth? Wow. You guys are feeling freedom in your truth and in your innocence. You guys are feeling liberated. You guys are feeling extremely creative. You are more open to receiving help. You guys are more open to asking for help. You guys are showing people what's up this week. You guys are keeping it 1,000. Like, you know what? I know I can do this. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got it. You got it all. Things that you normally don't feel like you do well, you're doing it bigger, badder, faster, stronger, and smarter. 
So you guys are not out of touch. You guys are not being exposed. You guys are no longer feeling pressured. You are no longer taking <laughs> or accepting people that are not making any real effort in your life. And you guys are seeing through that clearly. You're seeing through the breadcrumbers, the gaslighters, the narcs. You are seeing through the bullies and the toxic work environments. You guys are realizing truly where you belong. Falling in love with self-care. You guys, falling in love with self-care. I love that. Self-care is sometimes not like the most fun thing to do, okay? Especially if we've really been through it in life. This could be like vigorous and... Is that the word? Redundant? I don't know. It could be boring, okay, to do self-care. You guys are learning how to have more fun with it. You are learning how to just get it done um, without being so hard on yourself. You are falling in love with self-care. That is awesome. You are falling in love with being open to receiving you are leveling up big spiritually. You guys drop your eagles down below. The eagle has landed. The macaroni is in the microwave, as I like to say. You guys are leveling up big. Rapid spiritual growth. Opportunities to pay it forward. Be ready for opportunities. You guys deserve these opportunities. You guys deserve to be recognized. You deserve to go viral. <clears throat> you deserve it all. Someone here could be 39. Someone here could be 24. Toxic BS. Fake friends being removed. Someone here could be a tarot reader. You guys could be dealing with people trying to send you some janky ass spell work. It's not working. So you guys are being very careful with what you share right now. <clears throat> Even though you're sharing your truth you're not sharing what's going on in your day-to-day -day life because you know that your haters are watching there is some type of commitment you guys are going to be making you guys someone could be getting married i keep getting that someone's getting married i'm getting that you guys are going to be working on your brain as well And that goes back to my message about CPTSD, complex PTSD. And that could be from having a narcissistic parent or ex being in a relationship with a narc. And you are learning how to balance and bring things. <clears throat> you are learning how to take things away from like the middle brain. The middle brain has you guys in survival mode sometimes. So if that is you or if that resonates with you guys, you are working on better brain recall because this can affect your memory. It can affect um, decision-making skills, social anxiety. I know I touched on that a little bit in the last reading, but I know that's not going to apply to everyone. We have the dragon, breathe fire. You guys could be obsessed with dragons obsessed with mystical or mythical creatures you guys could like the hobbit lord of the rings you guys could like disney movies house of dragons game of thrones did i say that already and you guys are just learning how to breathe fire you're like i got this i know i have the green light i'm gonna move forward it's okay to fail as well like not every business plan is going to work out and so you guys are moving out of the slow lane <clears throat> And you're ready to go fast. Whether you fail or not, you know that it's important that you get the experience because that's going to create your longevity and your resilience. That's also the same for dating. We also need to do the same thing with dating. Sometimes we're dating to really figure... Did you guys see that? Sometimes we're dating to also do the same thing. Don't turn up on these haters. These haters are going to try it this week. They're going to try it again. They've been plotting. They've been plotting. But what are you going to do? You're going to give them no emotional response. Not a good one. Not a negative one. Nothing. Cold. You could even act like something that really irks. <laughs> 
irks trolls or narcs like this is when they're talking to you, you act like they are just really torturing your soul, like you were doing them the biggest favor ever by listening to them. That really makes them upset. Okay, so stay focused on facing fears. You have big changes unfolding. Don't even worry about what they're doing there, but they're really going to be trying the most to get your attention because they see that people are applauding you, that people are saying nice things about you and they just don't know what to do with themselves. They just don't. And I'm really happy for you guys. You guys have powerful abilities and you guys are really starting to believe in yourself. You're really starting to understand the truth of your purpose, the truth of your cosmic blueprint. You are trying, you are starting to figure out like why you're here. <clears throat> As I said that, we get the lizard. You are restoring faith in your abilities. And it's a return to innocence, like a childlike type of faith in your abilities. It's almost like you might as well be wearing a jersey this week that says, I'm team me, team awesome, team chosen. Team Star Angel uh, or Earth Angel, whatever you guys resonate with, it's like you got, you're going to be repping yourself. You're going to be so proud of yourself this week. You're going to be repping yourself. You guys are also going to be a heartbreaker this week. We got Man Eater by Nelly Furtado. I want to see you all on your knees. Knees, you either want to be with me or be me. Man eater, make you work hard. Make you spend hard. Make you want all of my love. <laughs> She's a man eater. And then you guys know the rest of the words. Um, they hate to see you overcoming evil. They hate to see it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Then we have guru, chosen, anointed. Guru, chosen, anointed. God is preparing your table. The divine is preparing your table. Can't nobody tell you nothing. Maybe two days ago they could have tried to convince you different, but nobody's going to convince you that this table is not yours, that these blessings are not yours. Nobody's going to convince you of that. Your voice is amplifying. Throat chakra activation. You're breathing fire on everything. You are ready to get things popping. Your comeback tour is here. You're going to be feeling um, like many people are looking up to you. You're going to be feeling like you are in the spotlight. Famous on social media. Famous in the workplace. Popular. And people are also going to be staring because they feel like you're really smart. People are going to be staring because they, they just look up to you. You have changed your life. And some of these people are bitter betties. Okay, you guys have changed your life. And they cannot take away your testimony. That's why some of these people are really mad. They can't take away your testimony. Comment down below. Why does success keep finding me? Why does success always find me? You keep it a buck. You are trusting in your ab abilities. It's not your fault. These people are fans with freaking binoculars. Ooh, we have a Millie. So someone here is going to be the first millionaire in their family. First millionaire or billionaire. So comment down below. Why, did, why are there millions in my bank account? Why are people always giving me money? Why are people always coming in to support me? I am the first millionaire in my family. I am the first billionaire in my family. Why am I always breaking generational curses? Why am I always breaking karmic cycles? I'm getting lone wolf, popular loner vibes. But just be prepared for spiritual rapid growth. Your ascension lift is here. You're going to be on your goat behavior, your empress behavior, and things are looking up. Okay, let's see if there's any other like little warnings or anything else you guys need to know. Whoa, bounce. Leave the situation or person. It's time to leave it all behind. Leaving fast, wrap it up. What did I tell you guys? You are not giving people an emotional response. You are showing people like, oh, 
bored. I'm, oh, I'm doing you a favor by listening to you. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm going to make somebody really feel insecure. Not like, not to be an ass, but you know what I mean? You could just stare at their forehead while they're talking. Like you're really bored. Like I can't even. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. You are just showing people, I am so uninterested in what you're talking about. You're very uninterested. I'm screaming. <laughs> hold my oxygen. Becky, hold my oxygen. I'm walking away. You guys are going to be in entrepreneur mode. Entrepreneur. You know what I mean. You guys are going to be in entrepreneur mode. There's no more, oh, it's flatlining. Oh, no more like, oh, I had to sugarcoat that this might get launched or might get released. You guys are ready to get things shaken and moving. What fell on the ground? You guys, marriage came out again. I'm telling you guys, somebody is getting married. Don't play with me. Don't come for me either. Somebody here is getting married. <laughs> okay, I didn't even know what to say. Somebody's getting married and they're not bringing crumbs. Somebody's getting married. Somebody's meeting their soulmate. Okay, anything else for the collective? Then we're going to get you guys an angel number. I am deceased. New you, who this? The old version is dead and gone. And now that you are bringing out this new version, like you guys have come to slay. You've come to slay and get married. You guys are going to get a lot of important downloads this week. So pay attention to that. You guys also have great fortune at the bottom of the deck. So this is around the corner for you. A great fortune. You guys are destined for greatness. Can't nobody tell you nothing. Okay. Capiche? You guys are destined for grace and for greatness. Ooh, we got 331. Okay, so you guys could definitely be seeing 11, 11, 1, 1, 1, or 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 1. I'm hearing a lot of airplanes, but not motorcycles because it was raining, so there's probably not a lot of motorcycles out right now, but definitely hearing, I heard three airplanes during this reading. So you guys are flying over Petty University, flying over all of the people that are nosy with their binoculars. You got something for them. They can't tell you anything this week. Let's get you guys some charms because we haven't done that in a little while. Okay. You guys are getting the missing link. You guys are putting the puzzle together. Oh, I'm hearing the song back in the saddle again. We have the little dog. You guys could wear, um, you guys could really like wearing the color pink. You guys could be thinking about getting a dog, but I'm getting there's a lot of people that they want to obtain or attain some of the things that you have. And whenever I see a little dog, I think, and your little dog too from the Wizard of Oz. So they want, they want your lip gloss, they want your sweatpants, and they want your little dog too. And it's not happening. And not only that, you are not giving them an emotional response. You are not doing it. You are not doing it. You guys could be expecting a very important phone call or you're going to be getting an unexpected phone call this week that is going to give you guys some really good news. Um, I see you guys are going to be changing your diet, making smoothies, eating more fruit. What else? We have the letter C and we have the letter F. So these initials could be important to the person that you're going to be getting married to. This could be these could be their initials or this could be the initials of a spirit guide that you have. So we have the letter F and we have the letter C. So things that you guys are going to be getting, someone here is getting a new suit. 
Okay, that could be because you're getting married, but somebody here is definitely getting a new suit. I'm seeing a new bow tie. Someone here is taking um, something to the cleaner. Somebody here is buying someone flowers and somebody here is getting a new vehicle. Someone here is getting a new pair of wheels. Pair of wheels, a new set of wheels, I should say. I feel like I'm making a lot of funny faces today. Okay, somebody here might be going to the dentist. I'm not... I dread that place. So I feel you guys. Somebody here is making a trip to the dentist. Okay. Some preventative care. Someone here is going from rags to riches. We got the Cinderella glass slipper. Ooh. Someone here could be getting a cat. I keep getting stuff about pets. Somebody here is getting a cat, a dog, a new set of wheels. Somebody here is going to the dentist. Someone here is going to be buying fruit to make smoothies. And then we have superheroes. You guys, people look up to you and they feel like you are the superhero that can do it all. We have Flash, right? I'm pretty sure that's Flash. And Spider-Man. People feel like you guys can do it all and you do it so effortlessly. They feel like you are able to be in so many places at once. You guys take that in. Marinate in the fact that people want to really encourage you this week. That's awesome. Okay, any other initials? Nope, no more initials, but, but we got Pocahontas. Another airplane. You guys are gonna be doing something with your hair. Um, you guys are either going long or you're going short. You guys are just gonna be doing your hair differently. We got strawberries. Okay, that could be very synchronistic to someone. We got pizza. I'm getting a lot of, a lot of Netflix and chill vibes. And we got chocolate bars. Okay, so you guys could be making s'mores. You guys could be making chocolate covered strawberries. You guys could be making homemade pizza. And that's something I got in the beginning download is that you guys are going to be enjoying like eating from home and just like chilling at home and not being involved in certain dramas you're going to be soaring over as the eagle or as the airplane into your new chapter flying high over petty university as your voice is becoming amplified oh my gosh i didn't show you guys the microphone so this is your microphone you guys are going to drop you're going to drop your microphone from the sky people just don't know what to say they're shook that was like literally your guys's second card they're intentionally trying to set, upset you. They cannot believe what they've heard. They're so caught off guard. So I don't know. They're unsettled. They're speechless. Oh, well. You guys, let me know what's going on in the comments. I love you guys so, so much. Um, your angel number is 331. Let me know if the initials C or F mean anything to your fiance, the person that you've just met, your twin flame, your soulmate, your kingdom partner. Um, or a spirit guide in your life because I'm dying to know. I love reading your guys' confirmations. Drop your favorite cheat code. Drop your favorite affirmation. You have rapid spiritual growth coming in. They're not tall enough to ride this ride. They better ask somebody, hold my oxygen because we have come to slay. Okay, you are on your goat, god, goddess, emperor, empress behavior, period. All right, guys, I will talk to you guys in the comments. Don't forget to smash the you know what. Hit the bell, duh. You don't want to miss out. You guys know my schedule's all freaking wherever, and I be posting sporadically. So <laughs> love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Toodles.